What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Be sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. Now, I don't know about you, but I was not able to afford on even the cheapest settings of basically $5,000 for two people to go to Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. And on top of that, the fact that there was nothing from the prequels and nothing from the original trilogy, everything in it was set in the sequel trilogy, and everything on board looked lackluster af uh so i never went to star star uh, star wars galactic star cruiser and of course it famously flopped uh that's not a lot of people could say they never went because it's gone out of business and on top of everything disney has had to do and fight all their lawsuits one of the major distractions was of course uh not just their reedy creek property in florida there's a lot of uh, them going back and forth with uh, Governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis. Also, this Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser failure. And now, shockingly, Disney is blaming someone and something else for their problems. And uh, here we have Disney allegedly, because I've seen a couple, I've, I've seen them say a couple of different things. Uh, people thought it was confusing, et cetera, et cetera. No, no one thought it was confusing. But this, of course, and I guess I'll say here before I read the title, it says this article is based on uncooperated rumor and speculation from an inside source knowledgeable of the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser failure and Disney Parks response. And of course, it's by WDW Pro, which if you know anything about, you know, he is quite knowledgeable before. So I'm going to take this as... Uh, probably true, probably true. So Disney allegedly blames Florida for the failure of the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. When things did not go well in a spectacular fashion, why not blame your frequent enemies? Um, that's something they do a lot, right? Not only blame your enemies, but then uh, accuse your enemies of what you yourself are guilty of. So the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser was an unmitigated disaster for the Walt Disney Company and Disney Parks. Located just outside Hollywood Studios theme park in Walt Disney World, the ultra-pricey Star Wars LARPing experience failed to even last two years before it had so few guests that it simply could not be sustained. As a result, the entire experience had to be shuttered. Parts of the hotel we're soon appearing at Disneyland Resort for sale as souvenir specials and on eBay and on eBay. Everything started showing up on eBay. Uh, there, of course, there is that uh, ill-fated Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. Now an inside source is coming forward with information that points to just how Disney is handling the horrible and very public black eye. According to this person with knowledge of intercommunications, president of Disney Parks and Experiences, Josh DeMauro, is well aware that the general public was not keen on the experience. It did not poll well. It was not well received. And although those who came aboard the stationary cruise experience often enjoyed the Halcyon, that demographic was far too tiny to sustain the attraction. Yeah, no, see, that's the biggest thing is if you had done, even at, at the price point at being this expensive, had you done it with the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy settings, had you not alienated the majority of the Star Wars fans with your political messaging and, of course, The Last Jedi, Divisive Movies and The Force is Female, stuff like that? We would have, but that's the point is all the people that were spending money buying toys and that were spending money buying merch, the people that read and bought the expanded universe and kept it alive between movies, well, you, you alienated all of them. You told them to go F themselves. You called them Yahtzees. Uh, so that was a fail. Uh, attempts to change the hotel from a sequel trilogy experience to something based on either the New Republic or the original trilogy were scuttled. There was no good way, and again, horrible they might have been able to at a reduced price and a refocus save something here but nope there was no good way to salvage the attempt without likewise putting another pr disaster square on the face of lucasfilm and star wars after all which is worse declaring that your hotel didn't work or declaring that your star wars efforts for the last decade are ultra unpopular and you know what Boy, just admit mistakes. If, if, if Unfortunately, we know they won't, and we know why they don't. They have to double down because they're linking this to their politics and their agenda. And so to admit they were wrong would be to tacitly or, or, or matter of fact or whatever. It would be to also admit that their ideology is wrong. So they can't do that. And so, yeah, here we go. But yeah, I think people would appreciate if they just said, yeah, we were wrong. We were wrong. We're sorry. 
Uh, so now intentionally it was time for the blame game once that the last voyage was complete. As we've reported previously, Lucasfilm didn't want the blame on them. Neither did Walt Disney Im Imagineering have a desire to take the fall. And of course, Disney parks and experiences were very uninterested in having this placed upon their soldiers shoulders. So could uh, so who could be the group that gets whipping boy and whipping girl status and Florida? No, uh, former Disney CEO Bob Chapik had seen the value of uh, the Walt Disney World Resort. It is the crown jewel in all of Disney's profit successful endeavors. The final dream of Walt himself drives an incredible one third of all of the Walt Disney Company's profits as of our most recent public records for 2023. It is therefore made all the sense in the world to Mr. Chapek that Disney should send more Imagineers to the resort and create all sorts of unique experiences there. Unfortunately for him in Central Florida, Walt Disney Imagineering under the DEI guidance of Carmen Smith has become a hotbed of partisanship. As a result, WDI folks working in Glendale were so angry that they threatened to quit rather than be forced to live in a red state. Shout out. Red state like Florida. Ultimately, the entire plan had to be thrown away just like the Star Wars hotel. So because they were so offended at possibly living at, in a conservative red state, they threw away and put the kibosh on the entire plan rather than just going there and refocusing. Bob Iger is back, of course, and he has different thoughts on Disney, uh, Florida parks, and more. According to our sources, now that Iger is fully in control again, if he ever wasn't, uh, power has shifted dramatically to WDI Glendale and away from Florida. The Floridian workers who were given the task of creating a two-day sequel trilogy hotel experience are blamed because relatively nobody wanted a sequel trilogy extravaganza. Well, that's true. Nobody wanted the sequel trilogy extravaganza. Uh, and uh, I think it's also that Kathleen Kennedy is the original one that go, no, we need to be making uh, uh, the theme park based on the characters we made, i.e. the sequel trilogy, not the prequel and original trilogy, which almost everyone wanted, including that original great concept art of a Star Wars land that had all the popular planets. But no, why do that? Just do your horrible sequel movies. Uh, had they been allowed to create a hotel experience centered on Luke saving the audience from Darth Vader, it may have would have succeeded beyond Disney's wildest imag uh, imagination. But of course, WDI Florida was the supplier, not the client. As a result of all of this, internally, it isn't Lucasfilm or Josh tomorrow that takes the blame for the Star Wars Hotel. It isn't Bob Iger. It isn't even Imagineering at large. Rather, according to the highly placed source, it is the state of Florida and the Imagineers who live there who are the fault. And that means Hollywood and Bob Iger ultimately will use this opportunity to have even more control over attractions in the future. It doesn't matter that they were always at fault. Yeah, from the very good look. Even taking into account that the movies drastically split, alienated the fans, the destruction of Luke Skywalker, the killing of Han Solo, and obviously Leia passed, and you didn't handle that very well either. So no one was keen uh, to do anything sequel trilogy related. That being said, had you done something in the prequels or the original trilogy for maybe a slightly lesser price point, or even if the same, if you had just delivered on what people loved about it to begin with, if you'd actually made a Star Wars land, it would still be wildly successful because just like people are doing now where we're just is completely ignoring Disney Star Wars and we're going back to the expanded universe I think people would still go to that Star Wars land just for the original trilogy and prequel uh, trilogy stuff but now DOA goodbye I don't know what you have I very soon within the next couple years I think Gary from Nerdrotic will be proven correct and we will be uh, here announcing that they are redoing the uh, original trilogy and the prequel trilogy and they're just going to Disneyfy everything because they have nothing left to do so let me know what you think of this uh, were you able to go to Galactic Star Cruiser because if you are boy stop by the streams you must be loaded uh, make sure to like share and sub if you've done that thank you if you're going to do that thank you and uh, well Bye.